very good morning my dear student this is rahul garg your maths teacher and we are discussing chapter number 5 that is arithmetic progression and this is fourth lecture of this chapter in the last classes we have discussed about what is ap and how we will find the nth term we simply learn the formula of nth term that is a plus n minus 1 into d where d is common difference a is first term and n is number of term this we have already discussed now the sixth question of exercise 5.2 is check whether minus 150 that is minus 150 is a term of the ap now when you know that if we find the number of terms the number should be that means n should be a real uh, should be a whole number or a natural number n should be a natural number means it should not be in, uh, in fractional value it should be a natural number now we have given that ap is 11 8 5 2 and so on so our first term that is a is 11 and to find d we will use the formula a2 minus a1 that is 8 minus 11 this will become minus 3 so this is our common difference that is minus 3 now we have to check that -150 is a term of this ap or not if this will be the term then n will be a natural number otherwise this will give a fractional value or negative value this should be a positive whole number or a natural number now use the formula nth term equals a plus n minus 1 into d now here nth term that is an is minus 50 equals a 11 plus and we have to find and d is minus 3 this will become minus 150 minus 11 equals n minus 1 into minus 3 now solve this this is minus 161 equals n minus 1 into minus 3 now minus 161 equals minus 3n plus 3 this is minus 161 minus 3 equals minus 3n Minus 164 equals minus 3n, and n will be 164 divided by 3. This is the value of n. Means this is 164 divided by 3th value, which is a fraction. And we know that in an AP, n cannot be a fractional value. N cannot be fractional. so this is not possible and minus 150 is not a term of this ap so minus 150 is not a term of given ap okay so if and agar koi bhi aisa question aata hai jisme hame check karna hai ki that is 150 is a term or any number is a term of this ap or not then we simply find the value of n if n is positive natural number then this is the term otherwise this will not be a term of this ap a next question is find the 31st term of an ap whose 11th term is 38 means we have given that the 11th term that is a 
is 38 and the 60th, 16th term that is A16 is 73 and we are asked to find the value of A31. A31 we have to find. Now according to the formula An equals A plus N minus 1 into D. We have given A11 so substitute the value of N11 then 11 minus 1 this will become 10 D and on the right hand side this will become A16 equals A plus 15 D. This is A11 is A plus 10 D and A16 is A plus 15 D. Now we will solve the equation these are the two equation in two variable that is A and D. My A11 is given 38 and A16 is given 73. So this is the two equation these are the two equations in two variable that is A and D. We will solve the value of A and D by using these two equations. Now from First equation find the value of A that is 38 minus 10 D. Now substitute this value of A in the equation 2. Substitute this value in the equation 2. This will become 38 minus 10 D plus 15 D equals 73. This is 38 minus 10 D plus 15 D equals 73. Now solve this will become plus 5D and 73 minus 38. This is 35 because 35 to the 70 and the difference is 3. So, this will be 35. Now, D will be 35 divided by 5 that is 7. So, we have find the value of D. Now, substitute the value of D in equation 1 or 2 then A will be I am substituting the value in this equation. So A is 38 minus 10 into 7 that is 70. So this is A equals 38 minus 70 and A will be the value of A will be minus 30. So, this is uh, the value of A. Now, we have to find the 60th, uh, we have to find the 31st term. For 31st, use the formula A n equals A plus n minus 1 into D. So, A plus n that is 31 minus 1 into D. A is minus 32 and this is 30 into D is 7. So, this will become minus 32 plus 210. And on solving, this will be 178. This is our 31st term of the AP. Let's repeat. I am repeating. For finding 31st term, we, uh, we should know the value of A and D. But in the statement, we, uh, we are not given the value of A and D. But we have given the value of A11 and A16. Means 11th term and 16th term is given. From 11th and 16th term, uh, by using the formula A n equals A plus n minus 1 into D, we make the equ uh, two equations in two variables that is A and D. On solving the equation, you will get the value of A and D. The value of A will be minus 32 and D will be 7. Then you will substitute the values in the A 31st means A plus 30 D you will get the value of A 31 means you will get the value of 31st term. Now the next question is an AP consists of 50 terms of which third term is 12 and the last term is 106. 
here this is again the same question here we have given that n is 50 and a3 is 12 and the last term means nth term that is a50 is 106 and we are asked to find the value of 29th term so by using uh, by solving these two equation you will find the value of a and d then substitute in the formula a29 equals a plus 29 minus 1 into d uh, solve these two equations and find the value of a and d then substitute in their equation you will get uh, you will get that 29th term and next question is if the third and the ninth term of an ap are this which term of AP is 0? Here, the third term is given. A3 is given 4, that is, and A9 is given minus 8. So, A3 means A plus N minus 1, that is 3 minus 1, 2D equals 4, and A9, that is A plus 8D is given minus 8. This is uh, in given the st in given statement. Now solve these for you uh, for a and d. Solve these two equation for a and d. Simply subtract from the equation. Subtract first from two second. a plus 8d equals minus 8 and a plus 2d equals 4. You can also uh, use substitution method. I am using here the elimination method. This is minus, minus, minus and this will get cancelled out and we are left with 6d equals minus 12 and d will be minus 2. So, D, now substitute the value of D in equation 1. Equation 1 that is A plus 2 times D that is minus 2 equals 4. And this is A plus minus 4. This is A minus 4 equals 4 and A is 8. So, A is 8 and D is minus 2. First term is 8 and common difference is minus 2. Now solve, we have to find that which term of AP is 0, means nth term is 0 and we have to find the value of n. So substitute a and 0 equals a plus n minus 1 into d. a is 8 plus n minus 1 into d is minus 2. And this is minus 8 equals n minus 1 into minus 2. And n minus 1 equals, this will become 4 and n is 5. So, fifth term of this AP will be 0. Fifth term of this AP will be 0. And the next question is the 17th, uh, 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7, find the common difference. We have given that A17 means 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term, means A10 by 7. This is given and we have to find the common difference. Just substitute the value, just uh, put the formula that is A plus N minus 1 into D. Here N is 17 minus 1 into D and in the right hand side this is a plus 10 minus 1 into d plus 7. So, this will get cancelled out, a will, ca will get cancelled out and we left with 17 d minus d equals 10 d minus d plus 7. So, this is 7 d and this will get cancelled out and equals 7. So, d is 1. So, common difference is 1. Now, the next up question is, which term of AP will be 132 more than its 54th term? You have to try this because this is same. 
here we have asked that which term of ap will be 132 more than 54th term first of all you will find 54th term here uh, from here you will find a is 3 and d will be 15 minus 3 that is 12 up and by substituting in formula you will find a 50 for and then you will find nth term that is given 132 more than 54th term this is given you will substitute this and solve for n okay students thank you and have a nice day